everyone, I'm Jen, and I'm going to be doing our workout with you guys today. So um, let's go ahead and get started into our warm-up. We're going to start down on the floor. So we're going to be down on our knees, getting into our back rotation to start us off with. Let's put our forearm down. We're going to put our other hand behind our head. Connect your elbows, and we're going to open up and rotate, looking up towards the ceiling. We're going to go about four reps on each side. Good job, let's switch sides. Awesome. From here, we're going to go up to all fours. We're going to go into bird dog. So we're going to open up opposite arm and opposite leg extending out. We're going to go three reps on each side. From here, we're going to go lift off those knees from the floor. We're going to lift opposite arm and opposite leg. So three on each side, warming up our core. From here, we're going to walk out into our plank position, starting our driven uh, flow here, bringing your right leg forward, right arm up, rotate. We're going to stand up, open our hips to the side. We're going to side lunge, rotate. We're going to come back to the front, back knee drops down, same side arm comes up to the ceiling. Push-up position, we're switching over to our left side, and rotate. We're going to stand up, open our hips to the side, side lunge, and rotate. Looping back to the front, back knee drops down, same side arm comes up. We're going to go back down to the mat, push-up position, we're going to walk back to our deep squat for a squat check. Walking back out, push-up position. Bring your right leg forward, right arm up, rotate. Standing up, hips to the side, side lunge, and rotate. Coming back to the front, back knee drops down, same side arm comes up to the ceiling. And back to push-up position, switching sides, and rotate. We're going to stand up, open our hips to the side, lunge, and rotate. Coming back to the front, back knee drops down, same side arm comes up. Push up position, walking back to our deep squat. We're going to bring our hands to the ceiling and stand up. All right, everyone, hope we're feeling a little bit warm, core is activated, blood is flowing. So for our workout today, we got one main circuit we're going through. It's going to be four exercises, three rounds through. And then we're going to finish off with a little Tabata, um, some high intensity training. It's going to lurk our legs and our core. So for our circuit, it's going to be mostly strength based. So do not rush it. Make sure we're really firing up those muscles. And we're going to progress within each circuit to a more high intensity um, performance of that exercise. And then right into our Tabata to sweat it out. So we're going to go 30 seconds at each exercise. We're going to have about a 20 seconds rest in between. Our first exercise, we're going to be side lunge, going back into a reverse lunge, alternating to the other side, and back into a reverse lunge. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. Hop in with me. we got 30 seconds here. Really trying to fire up those glutes on this one. Woo! Awesome, awesome, blossom. There you go. I'm going to make sure I talk through each exercise right before we do it. We'll hop in, and like I said, the next couple rounds of this circuit start to move a little bit quicker. Three, two, and one. Great job. So our next one, we're down to the floor. Push-up position. We're going to lower down to our forearms, pushing back up, lowering back down. Pushing back up. All right, so you can perform that one on your feet. If you need to, drop down to your knees, lowering down your forearms, and back up. So let's go ahead and get ready, and let's do it 30 seconds. This one, you should feel your core working a lot. Try your best not to rock your hips too much. Really pushing through, stabilizing your core. Like I said, drop down to your knees if you need to. Woo! 
same activity. Woo, just a little regressed. Three, two, and one. Awesome job on that one. So we're gonna stand up, we're gonna go into a squat with a leg lift. So this is mostly focusing on the eccentric. We're going down, we're gonna lock and load into that squat. We're gonna lift, lock and load, lift. Alternating sides here. Great job, pretty straightforward. And let's hop into it, let's do it. Great job. We'll give you some variations to pump this up in our next round. Like I said, I just wanna warm you guys up here. Focus on that descend, nice and stable. Almost there. Three, two, and one. So for our last one, we're down on the floor. Again, it's gonna use our core, a little bit of shoulders here. We're gonna go side plank. Top leg is gonna be in front of your bottom leg. You're gonna come up into a side plank, rotate to the front, rotate to the other side. So let's get you guys down on this plank. And hop in. And let's do this thing. Rotating side to side. I want you guys to hit each plank for a nice little hold. Good stabilization. Start to feel those obliques firing up. Nice work, everyone. Keep it up. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Awesome work on that. So, those are our four exercises. We're gonna go two more rounds. Woo! And then we'll get into some Tabata. All right, so we're back to the top. We need side lunge into our reverse lunge. Ready? And let's go. If you wanna amp it up, you're gonna lunge side to side, and then you're gonna reverse lunge at the center. Lunge, lunge, side, side. So it's up to you guys, or you can stick with this rhythm that we've been doing. Like I said, the last part of our workout's gonna be a total of eight minutes. High intensity, Tabata, getting it in, and time. Woo! So we're down to the floor. We're getting into our up-down planks next. Big deep breath in. Big deep breath out. Awesome work. So we're gonna be here. Push up position, going down into our up-down planks. Ready? Let's go. This one, if it's too easy. I encourage you actually to move slower. That'll require more stabilization of your muscles. And then drop down to your knees if you need to, just like I'm doing here. Keep your hips low though. I don't want you hitting tabletop position. And time. Woo! All right, so we're getting into our squat and leg lift, and that's actually gonna be a regression for squat jumps. So, if you're feeling like you wanna amp it up, we're getting into those squat jumps. If you're feeling happy and dandy where we're at just for our warm up, keep it going. Ready? And let's go. So, squat down, single leg lift. This is that sub for squat jumps. Halfway through, I'm gonna switch, switch to squat jumps for you guys. Getting them done. Halfway. Swing back, load up. Great job, guys. Keep breathing. Almost there. Woo Three, two, one. Awesome job. So we're down to the floor. Side plank rotations here. Had a bang energy during today. And I'm feeling it. You guys are crushing it here with me. Let's get up, side plank, and let's rotate side to side. Whew. 
Remember, hold each side plank so you're nice and stable before you rotate. You can even hold down in the front plank if you're feeling good there. I'm so proud of you guys. Keep it up. We're all in this together. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Holy! Okay. So that was our second round. We got one more round to go. We'll be done with that first circuit. We'll grab some water and head into our Tabata. All right. So side lunge to reverse lunge, or you're hopping through. Reverse lunge, squat jumps, rotating. Ready? Let's go. Awesome work here. I recommend breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Something I gotta keep telling myself. I've spent many years in the fitness industry. Still something to this day. Hard to remember. Three, two, and one. All right, so we're down to the mat. Doing our up-down planks. Big deep breath in. Out. All right. Push-up position. Let's rock these. Ready? Let's go. So another thing, making sure your feet are about hip width apart. But for me, just gauging. My feet are touching the outside of the mat. Awesome work. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, so we're into our squats, single leg lift. Or you guys are just crushing it today with those squat jumps. So just keep in mind, go at your own pace, making sure you're not pushing your body too hard. Let's squat down, leg lift. Let's add those arms if you guys aren't squat jumping. Just so you get that same movement pattern here. Again, halfway through, I'm gonna switch to those squat jumps for you guys. Halfway. Lock and load. It's all about that descend. Explode through. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, we're almost there. Last one here. Side plank rotations. Whew. Let's sit up on that forearm. Remember again, top leg is in front. Ready? Let's go. Plank it out. Oh yeah, there we go. Great work, everyone. You're doing great. Keep it moving. 10 seconds left here. Three, two, and one. Woo! Ah, nice job, guys. Okay, feel free to grab some water and catch your breath. Slow down that heart rate a little bit because you already know we're hitting that Tabata next. So, that was just a fancy word for interval training. Basically what we're gonna do, one exercise, going for four minutes, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, repeat for that four minutes, we'll grab some water, hydrate, replenish, feel good, hit the next exercise for four minutes, and then we'll have our cool down. So I'm so proud of you guys. Let's keep it up. Our first exercise is gonna be jump lunges. Grab your last little bit of water if you need it. Woo! Okay, so jump lunges. I recommend here starting into a step, depending on how your knees are feeling. How's your body feeling? Step into it. From there, you're gonna progress into a switch step. 
So you get a little hop in there. From there, you're gonna progress into switch midair. Great job, so just like that. So like I said, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four minutes. All right, ready? Let's crush it. So I'm starting with that step here. We got four minutes to go. That's two rounds of these per minute. But it's that 20 seconds, all out. And then you got that 10 seconds rest. 10 seconds rest here. Catch your breath. Maybe you're gonna stay at that step. Maybe you're gonna progress it. Like I said, judge for your own body. Ready, let's go. So I'm gonna do a little hop step here. So that's my progression. Feeling good about this one. I'm leaving off the floor. Awesome work. Keep it up. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds rest. We're basically going till our muscles exhaust out. You should be feeling your glutes working. You should be feeling your quads working. Ready? Go. Woo! So I'm getting right into that jump lunge. Keep it breathing. There you go, guys. Keep it up. Switch, switch, switch. Switch it up, switch it up. Three, two, one, 10 seconds. Woo! All right. If you guys are any sweating using that sweat rag, gotta go grab one. We're back at it. Let's go. Good job, keep it up. Five seconds left on this one. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Into your nose, out through your mouth. All right, we're two minutes in. Let's start again, let's go. We're going total of four minutes, you guys can do this. Maybe you need to slow it down. If you wanna add that hop in, maybe you're feeling good. Just keep it moving. All I can ask, keep it moving for that 20 seconds. End time. Oh my gosh. We're burning off the quarantine. We're doing it. All right, we're back on. Step into it if you need to, catch your breath. Maybe you guys are feeling like me. Potential to might throw up, but we are not gonna do that. We're gonna keep moving. Like I said, I just wanna keep you guys moving. Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Last minute of this Tabata. Ready, let's go, let's crush it. Whew. Push it here. This is your time to shine. Keep it going. Three, two, one, 10 seconds. Whew. Get ready. Last 20 second interval. Let's go. Last push through on this exercise. We're gonna switch it up after this. Get those glutes firing. Feel the weight in the heels. Three, two, one. Ah. Nice job on that first Tabata. That's the one's one of the hardest. Getting water started and out, but water break. All right. We're going to be mopping here after this one. All righty. Last little bit of water. Talk about training I should have done at the start of quarantine. Woo! Okay, so we're getting into our second four minute bout of Tabata. 
we are going to be doing mountain climbers this round. Woohoo! So, mountain climbers, you're in all fours, bringing the knees in. You're trying to stay over your palms the whole time. If you feel like at any point that's too hard for you, I want you to flip over. And I want you to do crunches here. So I'm totally fine with those, whatever's gonna work best for your body, okay? Deep breaths here. All right, we got a four minute bout. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know what I mean. Four minutes Tabata. First little bit, 20 seconds here. Mountain climbers, or you're doing crunches. Ready, set, go. You can crank it up, slow it down. One thing I do suggest if you guys have any wrist issues with this one, if you guys have dumbbells, grab onto those dumbbells, hold on to those instead of putting your wrist into these deep flexion. Three, two, one, go ahead and rest. Woo. 10 seconds rest. Big deep breath in, big deep breath out, and we're back at it. Nice work, everyone. Shoulders right over the palms. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds rest. This next minute, I'm gonna flip over and do crunches with any of you guys doing crunches. So feel free to follow along with me. Let's stick with the mountain climbers. Let's go. So I'm not going all the way up so I can get more reps in. Push my little back into the floor, lifting off. Ideally, if my hands stayed right over my shoulder, going straight up to the ceiling, that's gonna be the best uh, work. And time, 10 seconds rest. Whew. Great job, great job, everyone. I think I'm gonna alternate every minute. Let's go. You guys can stick with me. Find your own pace. Do what's best for your body. Three, two, one. Woo! Ten minutes or ten seconds. Woo! Ten minutes. Ha ha. Joke. Rest. Okay. I'm slipping back over to mountain climbers, so I'm alternating every minute. Back into the mountain climbers. Her crunches. Let's go. I'm really trying to stabilize, moving slower is gonna be working just as hard as going fast. And time. Ah. All right, people, we are nearing the end. We're more than halfway through. We're back at it. Let's go, 20 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, if you guys are with me, I'm flipping back over, finishing off with crunches for my last minute. <sighs> Three, two, one, let's go. Really good ab work here, crushing it. Three, two, one, 10 seconds. We got one more 20 second interval left in our workout and then we're stretching up. So let's go for it. 20 seconds. Keep pushing all the way through. Three, two, one. Ah. Right on time. Great job, everyone. All right, we're going to do a quick little cool down. Grab some water if you need it. Quick little drink. Let's go right into our stretch. 90-90 here. Engage the core. Engage the glutes. Lunging forward. Reach to the ceiling. 
Let's drop that arm, rotate towards that front knee. Big deep breaths here as we cool them down. Let's switch sides. Engage the glute again, pull the belly button in, reach to the ceiling. And let's rotate facing towards the mirror, towards the front, I'm sorry, I'm looking in the mirror. <laughs> Big deep breaths here. That's when you know the workout got you feeling a little woo. Great job, everyone. So we're gonna go back down to our knees, quadruped position. Look up, look down. A little bit of back movement here. We're gonna tuck our toes in, hips to the ceiling, down dog. We're gonna walk to the end of our mat, so we're forward folding for a hamstring. And we're gonna come up nice and slow. All right, everyone, you rocked this workout today, and I am so proud of you guys for joining me. Thanks for tuning in for your workout with me, Jen, and I hope to see you for my next one.